Hello my friends and welcome back to EVE Online with me, Mark from Dadex, and today we're in this Omen, the most willfully asymmetrical ship design I think in the game. It so needs an extra front pod, but there you go, little uh, expectation subverter that he is. Look at that, there's a bit missing. No, <laughs> it's cool, it's a very good ship, who cares what it looks like, it's a taste thing anyway, isn't it really? Anyway, today we're going to take this Omen into the Abyss and... I'm actually stress testing the PC. I'll talk about that a little bit when we're in space. But I'm just going to grab the Academy Fit. This tab here on your fitting screen will give you access to the Academy Fits. The com sorry, Community Fits, not Academy Fits. However, this one I know is very expensive at over 40 mil. And it's these Metaphor Lasers. They're over 5 mil each. Trust me, there's none showing on the market screen. Because although I'm only two jumps from Amar, I'm in a different region. Do be aware of that when you're moving around, that uh, changing region means you won't see what's at the trade hub. So I'm going to downgrade those in the form of some Meta 2 pulse lasers, and that drops the cost down to about 21 mil. Maybe a little bit more in reality, but certainly a saving if you do need to uh, keep an eye on your ISK early on in your EVE career. Anyway, in the mid slots, we've got a compact afterburner to move us around a large compact lead acid battery. An enduring status weather fire to slow the rats down if they get within 10k because medium turrets don't have great tracking so that's going to help us hit them basically and a trio of compact extruded heat sinks and the focus on the compact modules here on this bit i'm not changing it at all apart from those cheaper guns is obviously by using all these compact modules they're much easier to fit when your skills are a little bit low to get cpu and power grid I will link to a video at the end of this one that gives you tips and tricks on how to get more of those valuable commodities, power grid and CPU for your fits. To boost our resistances, we have a pair of compact multi-spectrum energized membranes. They boost our resistances by 15.2% in each area. And then a compact medium armor repairer to get us repaired up. And obviously that big old battery in the mid slots is to keep everything running. In the rigs, we've got one EM armor reinforcer. I can only assume this fit is suggested to be used on electrical sites, that's why the EM resistance is boosted up so high. No matter, we'll leave that where it is, even though we're not going to be doing an electrical site today, just to make a point. And then we've got two auxiliary nano pumps to boost our reps. Each one of those boosts the reps by 15%. The downside of that is an increase in the requirement for power grid. There's always a downside with your rigs, so remember to learn your rigging skills to mitigate the downside. So that's the fit as is from the community fit, apart from having much cheaper guns. The Omen also has a drone bay and in it we have eight Acolyte ones. They're not bonus, but they're there if we need them. More DPS is more DPS. Maybe they'll take some of the aggro so we're not, hey. We're getting the warning on the fitting screen here for diminishing returns because we've got three of the heat sinks and two of the armor membranes, but that's okay. And as we can see, the ship is bonus for a reduction in capacitor need for the guns by 10% per level of cruiser skill and a 5% increase in rate of fire for each level of cruiser skill. And this Alt Dadex has a level 3 cruiser skill. And we have level 4 or medium turrets. Everything else is about level 3 or 4. Although he is up to the alpha limits on some of those background skills now. So this isn't really a low skill alt, but this is a very low skill fit. I'm getting a little bit more out of it than you would with lower skills, but not a huge amount at all. Ammo-wise, I think we're going to be sticking to the Navy multi-frequency, which gives us an optimal of 6.2 kilometers and a fall off of 11. I do have some microwave just for longer ranges, but I think like in uh, the lower tier abyss, we're not really going to have time to shoot stuff at longer range before it closes with us. Anyway, the filament today is the Firestorm filament, so that's going to reduce explosive resistances and increase armor hit points, which is nice for us. I've got the wrong drones, obviously. I should have warriors if I wanted to optimize it, but I wanted to use the fit off the peg in kind of the wrong abyss. Obviously, with the laser weapons, we are restricted to the damage types we can deal which does make running some of the other sites a little bit more daunting. But we're going to give it a go. We're going to have a look at what we can get away with. Let's get in for now on the firestorm. So we're going to head over to my pre-saved safe point because you need to be away from structures, planets, etc. to pop your filament. 
And thank you to Cucker Tolson. I am just going to mention, um, not to encourage this behaviour, but he's had to stop playing E for now, at least. So he has sent me all his ISK, which was about 1.5 billion. So we shall be putting that to good, crazy use very soon. It was on this all, and as I'll explain in a minute, I haven't even been online for about three weeks. So I hadn't noticed, so I've sent him a big thank you. Hopefully he sees it. If he's not playing, he may not. But he does say he watches the video, so thanks, mate. And if you do come back to New Eden, drop me a line. I'll double your isk, no problem. No, for sure, I will. Let me know if you come back to play, mate. I'm going to go in with the microwave ammo loaded. It doubles my range. I've got about a 17 optimal and a 22 fall off. So let's get the filament popped. In a cruiser, you only need one, of course, and you don't need to be in a fleet. So let's get him popped. We'll change that back to cruiser from the last destroyer runs that we were doing with assault. And in we go. And you go straight in, of course, with a cruiser filament as well because you're not waiting to uh, coordinate your fleet mates in theory like you would be in frigates or destroyers. Right, we're in. What we got? We've got a pair of Damoviks and some drones with them. Now, the drones you can ignore in these rooms. If we kill the Damoviks, then the drones will just deactivate and you don't need to take them all out. As soon as you've taken out the Damoviks, the gate will open. They're both striking, so nothing special about them at all. They may try to rep each other. So the first one is usually a little bit harder to take down than the second one. And they've already closed range on me so quickly I've switched back to the multi-spectrum ammo so don't even bother loading the microwave. It was exactly the same when I came in with the destroyers. But we're taking out the Damovic. I've got the drones out. Keep an eye on your drones. They're obviously, I've only got Tech 1 drones. They're very cheap. Uh, you would be using warriors if you wanted to exploit the explosive resistance hole. You can see one of the drones is already getting a little bit hit. Let's see how bad it gets. I'm not going to be too protective of my drones. I'm not going to just sacrifice them all. Obviously, it's those towers you need to watch out for that will injure all of your drones simultaneously. The tower in here just boosts your tracking when you're within range, which is handy for us. See, so there's the first Damovic down. This one will go down much quicker because he can't get any reps from his buddy. We have lost the drone, so I'm going to bring those guys in just to keep them safe for now. You never know what we're going to find in the next rooms. And we're just going to head over to this extraction node. We'll pop it, see what loot's inside. The computer's been rather ill, which has delayed me getting this video out. The reason we're here is these stunning graphics and effects inside the abyss. Because I'm actually just stress testing the PC right now, recording this, to see if it can cope. Um, we had a couple of weeks when we were really busy visiting family, busy with the cars, a couple of motorsport events, breaking the cars, fixing the cars, Dexter's car being Dexter's car needing love anyway. So then we came back from that and found that a RAM had died on my PC. So we ordered some new RAM, which took a few days to get here. We got that, put that in. The computer said, there's the RAM, that's great, thank you. But then it would only run using virtual memory rather than the RAM. So it basically wouldn't work at all. Luckily, our technical support specialist, Dex, traced the fault to the heatsink on the CPU. And uh, once we got that replaced, which took another couple of days, three or four days to get the part here. Um, yeah, we're all good now. So this is the first test I'm recording. I'm in the abyss. I did actually record some narration live while I was running it. But, <laughs> but then some people, turned, some people, some friends turned up around the house and that was kind of obliterated. So um, that did work. So I know that PC is fully functioning. Hopefully, obviously, the rendering and the uploading goes as well as this seems to be. But yeah, the abyss is the place to come if you want to see pretty. Look at that. There's a thumbnail right there. Yeah, these sites are really impressive. If you've never been in the abyss, just get some tier zero filaments and look at them, even if you've no interest in playing them. They're pretty good. Anyway, that's where I've been. A couple of weeks off and a week or so fixing the computer, but we're back and we're here. And this omen is doing really well. I hadn't decided to bring an omen in particularly today until I saw there was a community fit. Um, then when I freaked out when I saw how expensive it was, I thought I'd uh, tone it down as I have. Which, as I said, was only downgrading the guns, which doesn't make a huge amount of difference, and here we are. The extraction node, in case you didn't notice, dropped us absolutely zero loot. It was empty, so let's chug over to the uh, biocache. And with the afterburner, all you're going to do is chug around. It can be a little bit frustrating, feel a little bit frustratingly slow. Uh, caracals and stuff, I tend to use micro warp drives, but uh, I don't think it's going to go into this fit. It wouldn't work very well, and as I said, this was an off-the-peg fit. Maybe I'll experiment with Omen the Fits the other day. Obviously, you can check out your effects right here. 
and the filament cloud we're in right now is a minus 40% penalty to shield booster shield repair or shield bonus and a 40% bonus to field booster duration so if you've got an active shield tank you do want to avoid these filament clouds if things are looking at all dicey for you but let's see what the bio adaptive cash has got for us this should be the best loot in the room it's 600,000 it's not exactly spoiling us so far is it so we've got the loot pretty disappointing in this room but we're through it got loads of time left we've used about a quarter of a timer which is obviously a 20 minute timer strictly we die after 20 minutes so we're still in here and get podded too so let's head over to the gate trundle our way over obviously if you need to this is the time maybe to pause let your cap recharge let your shields recharge depending obviously on what you are flying Get your drones in, don't leave your chaps behind, give them nice plenty of time to heal up if they need any shield regen. And in we go to the next room, and let's see what we get this time, shall we? But first, we've got the skin giveaway for this video, and it's featuring this very dangerous wood louse in a very handsome coat. It's the Purifier, a Mars Stealth Bomber in the scope syndication skin. If you'd like a chance to get your hands on one of these, and remember, if you're not going to use it, you can still sell it. I'll tell you how to redeem the code in the email in which you get the code. Leave your comments down below with your in-game name. Just let me know about your experiences in the Abyss. What is your favourite Tech 1 cruiser for running the Abyss or your favourite ship for running Tier 1 Abyss if it's not a Tech 1 cruiser? Let me know in your comments down below. Good luck. Remember to leave your in-game name for a chance. And here we are greeted by a battleship and a cruiser. The Carabid Tyrannos is the battleship. He's not particularly tanky, but we're going to get have to get over there and get in close to get damage on him, obviously. And uh, he's going to really hit us hard if he can. So we don't want to fly towards the battleship, remember. Use the manual clicking to position yourself flying towards him, but not at him. Do not use approach. I'm trying some pot shots here at the cruiser with the microwave ammo as he kind of comes in towards me. To, to be honest, I think I'll pull fire off of him because it's not really worth it he kind of flies around you you can kind of ignore him also ignore the loot boxes if there is a battleship in the room i would suggest you always prioritize going to get the battleship a thing you do need to be aware of with the battleships can quite often be found lurking right at the edge of the abyss area so do keep an eye out for the barrier the edge and be aware of where it is uh, because obviously you take damage if you do go into that or indeed through that so we're working our way in now to the battleship we're in range i'm going to try and just get an orbit around the battleship the cruiser as you can see is not really bothering us at all i'm going to use the web on the battleship because every little helps um just be wary of it kind of kiting you over to the edge of the room as you're orbiting it i love the effects off of his weapon there's his stats right there it's pretty typical of what we get in here but do remember if you want to you can look at the stats of every ship that's in here i do have a guide pdf of uh, what the ship names mean in related to damage that is in the discord i'll post it in there again when i put this video up and link it in there so uh, do pop into the discord and say hello it's not the noisiest place in the world but if you actually need to ask a question and get an answer or just have a little chat whatever you want do pop in say hello have a chat so yeah it's just a case of grinding this guy down the drones are fine they're taking no aggro it's all pretty chilled as it is the biggest issue is the time now in low skill caracals the biggest issue that we had there was that if you actually got into two battleship rooms on one abyss site you might run out of time because of the lack of dps the omen does have higher dps than that low skill caracal would probably about 90 more dps i think a tech one rapid like missile caracal um, would be putting out maybe i'm going to guess about 230 dps this is putting out about two i think 80 90 uh, a tech 2 rapid light missile caracal would be putting out about 320 330 that's all obviously dependent on skills and some other factors but uh, this is quite nicely in the middle it's higher dps for the level of skills you need to use it um slightly more expensive maybe but that's not really the biggest issue so yeah this is doing really well against the battleships i popped over and took the cruiser out <laughs> not really sure why 
but uh, as I say I was mainly focusing on how the performance of the PC and uh, my mate that was now sat behind me trying to tell me what he'd been doing for the last two weeks anyway let's go and see what is in the bioadaptive cache we've got over half the time left on the timer so we might nip up to a couple of the other boxes just to compare um, because I'm sure the bioadaptive cache should be the best loot in the room but I know that does vary so let's have a look I'm very impressed that we're taking very little damage for quite a big slow ship in comparison to some others 200,000 isk from that box well let's definitely go and have a look at another one then and see if we get more than that from any of them really it's the timer you need to be the king of the running of these sites and how many boxes you do get around to being quite slow here with the afterburner is a little bit of a hindrance we've got no issues on the tank front i might run a few of these I don't know if we could get away with uh, maybe putting a micro warp drive on it and uh, know him not going to have to rep too much because we've got lots of capacitor to spare so far but that's very early impressions of the second room in the first site I've run in it so uh, let's take our time eh? I'm going to speed the footage up just while we pootle over here I'm going to use the drones to take out these boxes and uh, just see what we've got inside the rest of all of this footage is just at normal speed by the way I do speed things up on some runs but abyss because they're so kind of time dependent certainly when there's stuff going on it all runs at real time but this is just a little bit of travel time and that's 600 grand so that's more than we got out of the big box so let's go and just mooch our way over here see what's in the other one so yeah, if you've got the time, they're definitely worth checking out these other boxes. But it is the timer you need to keep an eye out. And we've got about half of it left. So I think we'll take this box, which has got something amazing in it, I'm sure. Let's see. It's got bugger all in it. Uh, yeah, we're just going to head for the gate now. We'll ignore the last box. It's there, but time is life in the abyss. I think about it, but no, we're just going to get out of here now. And I'll speed the footage up as we do that. So comments for the skin. Yeah, I did mention in the little clip showing it off. Tell me about your abyss. But yeah, the summertime is a good time to be outside. So I'd also be interested to hear what other kind of hobbies and activities you guys like to get into when you're not playing Eve. When the weather's good and the days are long. Let me know. I'm interested. There's more to life than keyboards and monitors. We do know that. But... Uh, but when you are playing, there's nothing more important than Eve. Right, last room, what have we got? If it's another battleship, this would be a good test because a, a similar character, as I said, would have trouble. Come on, draw the rest of my ship. There we are, right, it is another battleship. It's the Photic Abyssal Overmind, and he's a big tanky one, and he's accompanied by a little drone frigate uh, to sell her, the little squirmy, horrible, bug-like ones. That battleship is going to take a little bit of time to kill. I'm glad we're here with half the timer left, or just under half the timer now. And I'm glad we've got a bit more DPS than we've got in a similar skilled caracal, to be honest. Obviously, we've got to get closer, and this ship, I'm sure, is going to get over near the edge of the area. But we'll see. Sometimes they lurk around where they kind of are. If it's near one of the towers that takes out drones, and you're in a drone ship... Um, you can be in big trouble, as I saw happen to Dex's multiple billion isk Ishtar that he um, just had a battleship sat right over a tower. He just basically had no DPS and the timer ran out. So they can be horrible. <laughs> and in the Abyss, there's always a chance it will catch you out. I kind of like that. I think sooner or later, unless you're particularly overpowered and just really kind of relaxing, and if you're just kind of grinding rather than pushing the ship, then... Um, yeah, you'll probably never lose a ship, but if you're kind of seeing how far you can get and what you can get away with, sooner or later a spawn will catch you out. And two battleship rooms, and certainly if it was two of these battleships in the Caracal with the Tech 1 rapid light missiles, could be an issue if you had low skills. But the Omen seems to be getting through it reasonably well. I'm going to overheat these guns at some stage. I think that's going to have to be done just because we can. But for now, we can just enjoy the view. I can get some screenshots and uh, we can just grind this guy down. Again, not really any kind of tank issue going on here. We're not really taking any damage of note whatsoever. I'm very pleased to report. But again, a different spawn in a different room could give us a different story. 
so I will run a few more and different types of site in the omen just to see if I can but I think generally speaking in these tier 1 abysses in cruisers uh, it's really more DPS is what you're going to need rather than more tank more speed could be helpful we've got plenty of DPS here so giving this a bit more speed and knowing we don't need to rep so much may be the solution in another ship trying to train into tech 2 weapons is definitely probably the biggest step forward and obviously the quicker you're taking stuff down and clearing the abyss sites the more you can run so if you are in a bit of a grind just to make some mist the quicker you can get through them the better you can see there this rat's got really good em resistances on his armor and uh, that is showing because we're really just nibbling our way through him so uh, i'm glad we had that much time left on the timer i'm keeping quite a close eye on it now we're going to have a little bit more of a, a screenshot session and then we're going to overheat these guns i think try and get this guy finished off because we've got not got a lot of time left we're certainly just going to be taking this guy out and grabbing the box by the gate so uh, yeah do plan ahead don't spend too much time in that first room thinking oh i've got all the time in the world because you could run into a couple of these fellas that might take you maybe like seven or eight minutes to take down and uh, if you faffed around you may live to regret it but now we're overheating get a bit more dps on there i've shut off the afterburner we don't need the speed to uh, be missed by him so we should have pretty much perfect damage application going on the guy now keep a very close eye on the overheating of the guns i'm not going to overheat these too far remember to train up your thermodynamic skill some people think you only need that skill if you're going to do pvp that's nonsense it can get you out of all kinds of situations being able to overheat whether it's your tank or your dps so uh, yeah train that up it slows down how quickly your modules overheat but do manage it very carefully if you burn out your guns in the abyss and lose your dps that's it you might as well just uh, self-destruct right there right we have finally taken the dude down we're going to now zoom over to the loot box. We can overheat our afterburner too for a little bit more speed. But again, just keep an eye on it. Prop mods do overheat quite quickly. Resistance modules will overheat very slowly, particularly shield resistances. So uh, you can leave those overheating look quite nicely. But you'll get used to it. Do practice in a safe place. Don't overheat stuff for the first time when you actually might lose your ship. But uh, do have a look at that and do train that skill. So let's see what we've got in this final box Oh, by the way, obviously, I was not going to be stress testing the PC with a heron full of loot in a wormhole. But um, assuming these tests are all successful, uh, we'll be back in the wormhole gathering loot until the heron is full very, very soon, I assure you. 600 grand in this room. There are three boxes, obviously, there we just do not have time to go anywhere near. In fact, we're going to overheat that afterburner to get back to the gate not long to go at all so yeah do remember you need a bit of dps in here and uh, the higher you can get your dps the better let me know if you want to see me run some other sites in this ship i can try different types of sites see how it gets on you don't always have to play to the bonuses guys that's really the message of today along with the message it's good to be back so we'll be back again very soon leave us a like if you've liked it any ideas for future abyss runs leave them in the comments Leave your in-game name in your comments if you want a chance at winning the skin for the purifier. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Likes are important because I know you like this particular kind of video, this particular kind of content. So do use that like button. And the algorithm likes it, I'm not going to lie to you. About 2 million this skin loot. Not amazing, but it is about as low as it goes, to be fair. We'll see how we get on. I'll be back very soon. Take care of yourselves and each other. But for now, fly brave and goodbye.